everyone welcome back this is the world's easiest figma make crash course where we talk about how you can get started with figma make how you'd make your first mvp get prototyping quickly with figma make let's get started the first thing you're going to do as soon as you open up figma is go up to the top click on plus make and this is going to create a completely new figma make file figma make is a completely new ai addition to figma which basically lets you give figma a prompt and you get both the code and the design for whatever you asked for now if you just want to get started the very very first thing you're going to do is type out your idea inside of the main figma make box let's ask it to make a pet adoption site and now this is going to generate not only the preview but also the code which is kind of what i'm interested in because last i checked ai generated code wasn't the fanciest stuff in the world but also let's see what happens it does give you the reasoning of what it's doing and it does write typescript code react typescript and this does take a little bit of time to load up you can physically see what it's doing on the code side of things and this is pretty good code it's not the fanciest code i've ever seen but it's not the worst thing either which is nice it does give you a couple of folders and stuff but we should give it some time to generate i think a lot of what figma generate is making now isn't the prettiest and when i physically compare it to my own design files inside of figma it provides kind of a clear difference of the two we just asked figma make to make us a pet adoption site and the one thing that does surprise me with this entire generation is the search and filter functionality because you don't usually go in expecting this to happen from an ai made tool all right as soon as you get started you see something with not a lot of personality but but this does look quite clean and simple and not messy at all again on the ui front this isn't the most complicated ui i've ever seen neither is this the most fanciest ui i've ever seen but it is quite nice to look at if you are just going for a bare minimum modern ui to get you started i think if you took a separate design for a pet adoption site and tried to make that on here change it through code that would truly be figma make on steroids but even without it it does provide you a pretty clean site to work with there are folders there is global css files and one of the most interesting parts is they do use tailwind css when doing their code this figma make file has components from shad cdn and unsplash both of which have free commercial licenses but again one of the more interesting parts for me is the search and filter functionality you can't really search with dog can you no i don't think you can i think you need to do a breed search or a search from name both of which are fine i would have preferred the animal search as well but this at least proves to you that we can search things easily which is also incredible i think this does take up a lot of time actually you can search the pets from right here and this does take a little bit of time to generate but when you look at the amount of time it takes to write this actual code this seems like a very effective way to get started if you're making the most bare minimum site ever you can go ahead and connect this to your superbase account which is a backend database to store data or have authentication go on as well the entire ui is clean and it's pretty usable you can use it in real time but you also have some interesting tools with figma make you have your developer console with which you can check every single element you have the responsiveness menu with which you can check what this is going to look like on different screen sizes especially if you try to make it responsive at the very very least you can physically change the widths and heights too if you would prefer it that way and you can check the code inside if you're curious like me if you're curious about what goes on inside you can use an, a bunch of these presets just to see what's going on right here right now and then the figma make console also gives you a couple of really cool options you can select a library from figma to make and we'll talk about this in an advanced video at some point but you can also edit individual elements so this option lets you take apart each selective element and change the way it looks either on your own so you can kind of change your fonts or colors or themes whatever it is that you would want to change here but you can also ask ai to make it more modern or do something that wasn't expected before and every single time you make a couple of changes you get updates inside of your code files i think something that does bother me a little bit is the fact that they've only used react typescript which is a very limited code base to get started from it's it's not my favorite way of writing code at the moment and it does leave you logged into it a little bit if you are trying to get code from here and edit it a little bit but other than that it's 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 a good starting point especially if you're just getting started with figma make and it does do a little bit of stuff to make things happen in real time which is going to have to wait for this to load up on its own and whenever it does improve things whenever it does make things more modern it tells you immediately the new changes that came in fix for example this right here fixed 
some visibility issues replacing white text with dark text that's kind of more readable they added a more gradient based background so this goes from white to a light blue which is arguably more modern it did change the typography changing the sizing the weight and the readability a little bit added some rounded corners made things softer to look at added interactive hover states which is what this looks like which is quite nice every single time you hover over one of these you get to see things kind of change a little bit on their own which didn't used to be the case and it added a little bit of a background blur effect where the backgrounds of the main elements are blurred out a little bit for depth now with that said all of the changes that figma make makes right now are very simple and small and and just the most bare minimum to get started with it's not the most efficient thing when it comes to ui design when you want to change things a certain way and you want things to look a certain way and you have your own vision but if you are a beginner who has nothing who has no experience or just wants a bare minimum mvp to get started this is a pretty effective way of doing things you can also look at it on its own preview completely make a copy on your own or share this outside so now we can publish this to a site let's publish this to pets let's publish the site call it pets feature it on community so now you can find my figma make pet adoption site on the figma community if you want to make a copy and edit it yourself let's just publish this now you can now find the pet adoption site called pets on figma community if you want to by Veera Shavastav and now Figma is publishing our file to the community so let's just go and see this in the Figma community this is kind of funny if you just want to get this started really really quickly I think this does give us a very effective starting point if you're just starting to think of a new concept just to prototype things really really rapidly you can also check this out on the web where everything that we just saw right now is in a live sites version again would I use this for permanent production I probably wouldn't because when you take code generated file by AI completely on its own. I think this is still very early for me to say this is the most trustworthy site I've ever seen. This is definitely not going to fail or this is going to handle a lot of traffic with ease. And again, a lot of backend concerns will make me say that this is not something I would publish at the moment, but it is a really good starting point if you just want to prototype something small, maybe get started in the smallest community, maybe share it with your friends or start prototyping something new. So I think this is a really quick and fun way to get started with things. And it does let you get some serious access into what the development and the final versions of things would look like. Now let's go back to Figma Make. Let's create another Figma Make file. And this is where I think the fun experiments start. Figma Make does let you do some pretty cool things. So for example, if you would check out the Figma image dithering tool, I think this is one of the coolest things ever. This image dithering tool comes pre-built with a classic black and white UI dithering support and adjustable thresholds. So you can create pixel art with ease. You can basically use this tool and create pixel a lot out of anything so I'm just getting a simple weird image here and you can keep on increasing or decreasing the pixel art pixel numbers of this file and this is going to give us our complete image so this is what we started with versus this is the final dithered pixel art version of a figma image dither and I think the, these are some really cool experiments if you're just getting started with stuff if you want to see the code of how this works behind the screens I think that's also something you're going to have a lot of fun with in figma make and you can keep on talking to figma make to ask for changes or create something on your own really really quickly again this has been the world's easiest simplest figma make crash course where we talk about how you can get started with figma make how you'd make your first mvp get prototyping quickly with figma make and i have to say this isn't the most perfect thing yet but it does make me very confident about the things that are going to come up with the future of figma make and this is definitely one of those aspects of ai that does make me really happy with the way things are going forward not because it's somehow going to place everyone who's worked in the field of tech ever but because it does take a lot of heavy lifting and repeated work that made our lives boring as UI UX designers as developers off the table and now you do get to focus on the more creative managing aspects of things and you get to decide how things go on a larger scale as opposed to always be micromanaging everything so I do think this is going to be a very effective tool helping developers and designers yet and it does have a long way to go from where it has gotten started but Figma Make is a really really cool thing in the world that is AI and Figma and UI UX design and I hope you learned something new subscribe to the channel make sure to check out this complete playlist on everything new in Figma and I will see you in the next one all right love you bye